Mwah! Besos, bisu, love, all the good things that we need more of in this world. Today has been such a maddening day, infuriating, nauseating, sickening in every sense of the word. Donald Trump is not only unpresidential, he's just so unfit to be president. Like Hillary Clinton told us over and over and over again. This man is a disgrace. And thankfully, uh, today has been one of the worst days of his presidency. So much drama has gone down with Donald Trump, from multiple CEOs leaving his advisory council to unions telling him to go fuck himself and more. For the very latest on Donald Trump drama, log on to PerezHilton.com slash Donald Trump. However, I want to talk about something Trump-related that I uh, feel connected to because I got inspiration for my name from her. Last year, Paris Hilton made headlines for allegedly voting for Donald Trump. After the fact, she claimed that she never voted for Donald Trump and that she was misquoted. Well... Today, a new interview with Paris Hilton was made public. And after that interview hit the internet, she has remained quiet about it. Most likely because the interviewer has a transcript. Let me read you what Paris Hilton told Marie Claire. Not only did Paris Hilton defend Donald Trump but she also cast shame and doubt on the multiple women who accused Donald Trump of sexual harassment and assault when he was running for president. If she defended him, it'd be disappointing. But the fact that she's shaming and doubting these countless, over a dozen women is infuriating to the point of making me think Paris Hilton is canceled. Something that maybe a lot of you have been thinking for maybe a decade now. I like Paris Hilton. I've been rooting for Paris Hilton. I've always liked her. She was the OG. I want her to have a comeback. Now she's in Ibiza and spending a lot of time overseas because she's a lot more popular there. In America, not so much. And after today's statements, even less. This is what Paris had to say. That piece of hair was distracting me. <laughs> uh, she says, quote, I hate to bring this up. That was the interviewer. I hate to bring this up because it's a very painful topic. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, not the sex tape, blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay, here we go. Um, okay, here we go. Oh, oh my God, oh. I had skipped this question. So the interviewer brings up Donald Trump by first talking about Paris's sex tape. She says, the interviewer, I hate to bring this up because I know it's a very painful topic, but I can't not ask you. He said he watched your sex tape. He talked about meeting you when you were 12 years old, and he talked about you in kind of a sexual way. Doesn't that creep you out? Paris responded by saying, oh, I read about that too. And it was on Howard Stern. So I feel that anyone that's on that show, Howard just loves to say weird things and people say things that they normally wouldn't say. It wasn't creepy at all. He's not like that at all. He's always been so respectful. The interviewer asks, and grab them by the pussy doesn't bother you? Paris responded, I've heard guys say some pretty crazy things, like worse than that. So I think that when someone doesn't realize they're being filmed or recorded, they say things, especially with a guy. So I think it was kind of just one of those things where you're with someone. I've heard guys say the craziest things ever because I'm always around guys and I listen to them speak. So I definitely don't think he would just say that. And then the interviewer asks, what about all the women that say he did it? And this is the part where I just lost my shit. Paris responded, I think they're just trying to get attention and get fame. 
I feel like a lot of people, when something happens, all these opportunists will come out. They want to get money or get paid to not say anything or get a settlement when nothing really happened. So I don't believe any of that. And I'm sure that they were trying to be with him too. Because a lot of women I've seen like him because he's wealthy and he's charming and good looking. So I feel like a lot of these girls just made the story up. I didn't really pay attention to it. I heard a couple things about it. I don't believe it. Bitch, what the fuck are you smoking? Seriously, did Paris Hilton hit the crack pipe? Like, I know her. She's not a total moron. I am just, I wouldn't say I'm shocked, but I'm incredibly disappointed and incensed. This is another reminder why I am your favorite Hilton, right? Oh. Fuck, Jesus Christ. She called him good looking. On what planet? My head hurts, seriously. Like, I can barely function today. All of this insanity, it affects me. I'm a very sensitive person, as you saw in that silly, not silly, but in that video where I was crying this weekend, I genuinely feel things and I feel things deeply. It's because I'm gay, it's because I'm Latino, it's because I'm an Aries. And I just feel so let down by Paris Hilton. And I'm surprised she hasn't said it's a lie yet and I'm surprised she hasn't apologized yet I'm just gonna say it she's cancelled over team Nicole Richie I mean I still like her it's just her responses to these questions just ooze rich white blonde girl uber rich famous blonde white girl. So entitled, so privileged, so out of touch. <sighs> Let me stop talking about it because I am getting a little too heated. In other news, I am concerned for Usher. According to reports, Usher is not willing and will not settle his multiple sex-related lawsuits, multiple women and one man, have accused Usher of giving them herpes. He's willing to fight this. I mean, Taylor Swift just did that and won, and it's awesome. My only concern is, I don't know if Usher has Taylor Swift money. Does he? Does he have millions of dollars to burn, like the song of his said? I mean, maybe he does, because he... Did have a diamond selling album. That means 10 million copies sold. And he also did sell albums back when people were still buying albums. So if Usher has enough money, then go for it. But it's unfortunate the way the legal system works. Like, there is a little bit of truth to some of what Paris Hilton said. That some people will sue other people, male or female, just to get that person to settle because they know that settling a lawsuit is less expensive than litigating a lawsuit all the way from the discovery process to court. So I hope Usher has money and sending good vibes his way. Uh, also making major headlines on the interweb today was some drama with Kim Kardashian and Jeffree Star and silliness, not silliness, but makeup related um, my thoughts on Jeffree Star are hmm. <clears throat> those are my thoughts on Jeffree Star. In other news, I was holding out hope I was so optimistic that Brad and Angelina could make it work and get back together. Unfortunately, it seems like all hope is lost and uh, though the divorce has been put on pause, it was only put on pause so that they could work out 
the custody and financial arrangements between the two of them. And finally, the toxicology report for Tiger Woods is in from his DUI arrest earlier this year. And girl knows how to party! Holy shit! Tiger Woods had five prescription drugs in his body at the time of his arrest. He had hydrocodone, which is a form of Vicodin. He had hydromorphone, which is another painkiller, two painkillers. He had Xanax. He had Ambien, and he had THC, otherwise known as weed. Like, I'm surprised he was able to get out of his house and into the car how fucked up he was. Dios mio. (laughs) This video with all these topics has been so lit. If you enjoyed this, like it. If you enjoyed this, share it with all your friends. This should be shared because I was on my A-game today. Thanks for watching. I love you. I'm in such a better mood. I am fucking awesome!